All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to boot off your SSD drive instead of your hard drive. It took me forever to figure this out. Like, it was kind of making me mad because it, because it was booting off my hard drive now, I kept getting a third disc or fourth uh, hard disc master error. And I had made a video where I showed you to go into boot and you come down here and you disable this F1 error because this will just sit there and wait for you to press F1 before to load Windows. And that was just really shitty. And this way works, it, I mean, it doesn't get rid of the error, but it does because it just bypasses it. So, and everything still works fine. But if you want to boot from your SSD instead of your hard drive and have your hard drive as your storage, this is what it is. Instead of being here, and being on IDE, what it was, and that's what will boot on your hard drive, your normal hard drive, and not your SSD. And your SSD ends up just being, you know, a backup drive, and you don't want that. So I came here, and I changed it to the AHCI. And now when I do that, boots off my SSD drive, and it is so much faster. And I don't get no more errors. I mean, it just boots right up fast I love it it's uh, the way it should have been right off the bat so this is how you do a fast boot using your SSD look at that show you I have a video already posted like I said of the uh, fourth disc error and this completely gets rid of it because it's now booting off my hard drive the way I want it to and now my hard drive is my backup storage of two gigs which is perfect and that's all you need to do so let me uh restart it again i'm going to show you what it does when it's the other way so you guys can see what i'm talking about i'll turn it back on to the old way where it boots off the hard drive and that dumbass error pops up and i'm going to show you all of that and then i'm going to show you the difference of I'm glad i found this so I'm going to go to main, go to storage configuration. Here, I'm going to go back to this. Okay, I'm going to hit F10. Oh, escape. Hit F10 and hit enter. Now when it boots up, it's going to take forever. I'm going to get the error. And I'll have, you know, I've already showed you the F1 trick to bypass it. But now this is booting off my hard drive instead of my SSD drive and it takes forever. So much longer. And then it's gonna show the error pop up here with the hard disk. And if you have SSD drives and you're getting that, I believe that's why. Because you're not booting off the right one. You're booting off IDE, so now this is off the hard drive. The AHCI is the one you need to do if you want it to boot off your SSD. Like, I mean, seriously, look how much longer this is taking. So now it's going to pop up and tell me it's got errors. See? Fourth master hard disk error, but I bypassed that with F1. All right, here we are booting off the standard hard drive, and this takes forever versus booting off the SSD drive. This is taking even longer because the computer has to recognize what is going on. And I think that's because I'm swapping back and forth between my hard drive and the SSD drive. So literally you're at the mercy of the hard drive on a boot. And that's what makes the SSD drive so incredible. And that is the difference between booting off your hard drive versus your SSD drive. All right, here I'm going to go back into the BIOS and change everything back to the AHCI, which stands for Advanced Host Controller Interface, if you're wondering what that means. Again, I'm just going to click here and go back to the AHCI. That is what you have to be on in order to boot from your SSD drive instead of your hard drive, and it's awesome. So that's all you got to do. Appreciate it guys. Thank you for watching. I really truly hope this one actually helps you out tremendous because it fixes all errors that I have popping up everything so All right after I did that I got a blue screen of death because 
after I switch to the hard drive to show you, make sure you come here and disable your hard drive and make your SSD your primary and you'll be good to go and that blue screen will disappear if you get the blue screen so that's all I had to do to get that to fix and boot up just fine no master hard errors you see how fast that loads I mean so fast seconds enjoy y'all I appreciate it hit that subscribe and like button guys thank you so much as usual Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever, wherever you are, goodbye.